Test, test. Okay. Okay, everybody. We're back to the video game. Hello, Blaze. This is a ship's will. Don't worry about that now, though. Late, only later when we unlock the, the final boat boss battle. Then we can... But as for now, wait, everything's round? What? What happened? What are you talking about? Everything's round. What does that mean? <laughs> New YouTube update? Um. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's either something I haven't seen yet or something that I have been seeing for a while that I've already complained plenty about. Um, so the stream might be a little chuggy for the next 20 minutes or so because I'm uploading my review at the same time. And... Uh, so things should smooth out a bit after the fact. Oh, we're in Rust Town again? Rust Town, Michigan? Well, at least where we're supposed to be going is, is uh, quite clear. Kind of hard to get this wrong. I'm going to run this way first, actually. Well, that was a bad idea. I thought maybe there'd be something over there, but... we just dead end, as I can tell. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, these guys. Oh, they... Maybe we shouldn't have split up. Maybe uh, me and Sybil should have stuck together. Like most horror video game protagonists should do, and they never do. They always say, let's split up. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because streaming uses your upload data speed, and I'm uploading a video, uh, but it, it'll it'll smooth out soon enough, as long as it's, as long as we can tell what's going on. So weird. It's all a blue thing right there. I thought maybe there was something, but I don't know. I saw a post someone posted. I didn't like actually look and read into it, but it said Silent Hill 2 voted the number one horror video game of all time. And there was like a few other it said like some other ones in the top like five. I think like RE7 and RE2 remake were on there. And it's gotta be because they announced the R the Silent Hill 2 remake that that got voted so. Like, I'm sure it's considered one of the best games of all time. But, um... Uh... I feel like the reason why it got number one is because, like, it just... They just announced the... Remake no longer. Okay, Blaze, you have a good one. How did my trick-or-treating go? Well, let me tell you. Hey, he knows how to trick with the best of them. Oh man, I can't kick him from here, but he's also in the way. And here comes dog number two. The thing that shocked me... No, why don't you hit the one that's on the ground first so we can move past him. There we go. Um... Re Resident Evil like 7 and our RE2 remake and I think something else ranked higher than RE4 so I think the the list is uh, immediately um, invalid I was gonna say it guys I'm sorry you know 
good luck, try again next year. The heck, it wasn't letting me in the door at first. I mean, I want to play Silent Hill 2. I'll, I'll play that... Um, probably in the near future, actually. Um, could wait a bit longer. Okay, fact, you're saying RE4 isn't scary? I think you need to look, go back, and think about the first time you ever played it. Don't think about once you've gotten good at the game and you're able to blow through things pretty easily unless you're on pro mode. Think about the first time you went in. Think about going into that village for the first time and the entire town is after you and the chainsaw guy shows up. Remember this. Remember some other moments like Del Lago on the lake. Remember the regenerators in the island. You have to keep things in context of like when you're first experiencing the things and you're you're still getting a grasp on how to play and stuff. I think that's very important. I think the regenerators still are um, one of the scariest things in, in a game. The regenerators are freaking terrifying. Very unchill. And I could agree that it's not the scariest game, of course, but I don't think a lot of the survival horror games are that, like, compared to, like, games that are designed to actually, like, jump scare you all the time. I mean, you could argue that that's cheap, even, but... Um... Like... Yeah, like, this has some, like, really creepy, uncomfortable aesthetic, but do I think this is any more scary than RE1? No. It, but I don't think it's less scary either, you know? It's these kinds of games just... Wait! I don't know. It's more of, like, a vibe than, like... Damn, I was too late. ...being scared, I guess. I was too late? Yeah, Harry, you're not thinking straight. You were too late for the spirit that just vanished? Like, I guess, technically. Don't be so hard on yourself there, buddy. I don't think we can account for, uh... Spirit vanishing. I can't turn my, my flashlight on in here. Um... I actually didn't do, like, much for Halloween, except... Because often me and Mike would actually do, like, some, like, scary movie watching on Halloween. One of us would go to the other person's house and we would just watch some scary movies. Um, we used to hand out candy at my home, but legit, last few years, nobody comes to our street anymore. Literally, not a child comes trick-or-treating on our street, so... We learned after the last couple of years, like, we were just getting candy to hand out, and then no one was coming. So, uh... We just- I mean, it's sad to say, but we just don't- We just don't get... Halloween candy anymore. We would if people showed up, but they just don't anymore. I don't know why. Weird. You know, I- I wonder if COVID has something to do with that, probably. And it's not like our- area would probably give out very good candy anyways, so I was like, is it really worth going to the trouble? No, I don't know where to go now because I went to the lighthouse. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried that I I missed something up there. Maybe I should go back up there and back a little closer. Oh, damn it. If only this game had a 180 quick turn, but they, they didn't invent that yet. Yeah, Mike only exists ethereally now. He, he doesn't have a tangible form any longer. Yeah, if I was trying to think like the scariest game, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be putting like any of the Resident Evil games or Silent Hill games up there anyways. Just into like what I was talking about earlier. Um, all right, see what Sleepy is in here. I know he would know what's going on. I feel like this is just a dead end and I need to just now, I don't know, head back into town maybe? 
<laughs> Mike went into the rust room. Yeah, my... My Halloween and like the week leading up to it was basically just me working on the biggest freaking review that I ended up splitting into two parts. And the second part, I'm gonna I'm gonna set it to go live, like pretty much right after my stream ends. Um, and this probably won't be a super long stream, anyways. I feel a lot better now that I've uh, finished the review. But I. I definitely need to uh, recharge still. Ow. Oh, I wanted to kick the dog. I'm just gonna assume we wanna. Oh, okay, good. Cutscene. That I shouldn't have. Oh, I need to stop overthinking things sometimes. Oh. Sybil hasn't come back. It even like, it, it just quick traveled this again. Actually, even better. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. That creep. Let me be on time. Let me be on time. Is that a recurring theme, Harry? Just barely not being on time for something. What if this is all just Harry's having a nightmare? It's his like first day of like a new job. And he's just stressed that he's gonna be late, so it's manifested in the as this. Um, facts that I personally don't find Sun Hill too all that scary, at least not in the same way that fans do. Monsters are pretty nasty. It's got that usual survival horror tension. Also has some of the RE1 goofiness with inhuman writing and voice acting. It hurts it even more than RE1, because it's not going for camp. It wants to be big boy serious horror. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know that RE1 necessarily wasn't going for camp either, but it just seems to like... But it's also not going for something super deep, so I think that's why it works, I guess. If that makes any sense. I mean, it kind of is what it is. You're You're... you're in this mansion with all these spooky experiments. Okay, um... The arrow says to just go left on Sanford, so I guess... Oh, right, that's where the amusement park is. That makes sense. Okay, I guess that's where we're going. Then. I just love how Harry's response to, like, showing up to the top of the lighthouse and, like, this... The fleeting spirit of what may be his daughter, or may just be another girl, vanished in front of his eyes. And his first thought isn't like, what the heck is that? Was that a ghost? What was that? Like, for any other little thing he says that to, no, he says, Oh no, I was too late. Darn it, I was so close to catching that, that ghost. The ghostly ghost. Make sure I'm going the right way. But I could, um, I could see why a lot of people would find, like, this and Classic RE1 scary. Like, side amusement part. I honestly think a lot of it just has to do with, like, if you're not used to the tank controls. I think that's a big part of it. That's also a big part of why a lot of people don't like tank control games, is that they, um... Yeah, I can't look through the gate, unfortunately. Um, it just doesn't feel right, and I could totally understand. Tank control... Tank controls are, are weird. They're unwieldy. They're... Um, you could even say unintuitive. But I don't... I'm in the camp that says that tank controls aren't bad. A lot of people say just automatically, oh, tank controls are just bad. They're bad. They're outdated. I don't think I don't agree with that. I think they're just a type of control scheme, and I think that tank controls give games a feeling 
Like, it, it's, it's special. Like, games that have tank controls, you're, if it didn't have tank controls, and they're often designed around that, then, um, you don't, it, I don't know, it changes it completely. Ow. Dude, Kiko is so scared. Dude, Kiko, <laughs> Kiko did, I did learn recently that Kiko gets jump scared very easily, even if they're like the little, like cheap, like the fake jump scares at the, like the act one of a horror movie where it's just like a friend putting their hand like on, on another friend's shoulder. <laughs> That was, a. Uh, that was interesting. But Fax said what classic Resident Evil locks in narrative horror mix up with mechanical horror. I will defend tank controls um, to the, till the day I die. I like them. There are things you can, you can also have tank controls that feel better or worse, like this one, if you're running and you stop running, like, he takes, he has such, um, he's actually not doing it right now for some reason. Let me try to, uh, recreate it. Huh, that's weird. You, so usually when you're running with him and you like stop suddenly, there we go. Okay. See how he like, he went like, whoa, and he kept running. I think it's after you've been running for a while. Yeah. But here's the thing, like that, like issue is on purpose. Like they want you to feel like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it right now, especially because my my uh, brain is running on very little sleep. There's something to it where there, there's a merit to it, where it's designed on like this on purposely with with things in mind. Like there's, you know, you need. To, where, where where the heck am I even going right now? Heal. Um, like I said, it feels like it's an artificial limitation. I don't know what being a super shooter guy feels like. So many limitations are beyond my, uh, can. Strafing is an action humans are capable of. Eco said, last night we watched most of Slenderman. Terrible. Most of nothing. But trouble. Wait, most of nothing. Oh, that's a movie, Nothing But Trouble. Which was horrible. And rewatched Annihilation. Great movie. I liked Annihilation a lot. I thought the concept was interesting. There was a lot of trippy visuals. The soundtrack was awesome, especially um in the movie theater, which is where I saw it. But I do think Annihilation does have some of those Seriously. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Oh, that was just a dead end, okay. Um, oh, I thought that was like water, like green goopy water on the sides. Okay. Um, Annihilation does have that problem though where like... I feel like, uh... It's not that big of a deal, it just has some like weird... Characters being stupid for no reason type of deal, which... A lot of horror movies have that, so it's not like it's a huge issue. It also, they have the weirdest reasoning for things. Like, they send in a group of, like, women scientists. All, all women, and th their reasoning is because... Um... The soldiers that all went in, that all, like, died and didn't come back, all happened to be men. So their first thought isn't, oh no, whoever goes in there just dies and doesn't come back. Their thought is like, it must be because they were all men. We'll send a bunch of w women in instead. They'll, they'll they'll probably be fine. Like that is such a a, a leap in in a a, 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 a leap in logic. <laughs> like oh yes, that must be. Uh, 
And I'm not saying... these guys don't point at the green it's still pointing at the green there we go are these freaking sloths by the way we're being attacked by mutant sloths now get out of here darn sloths Kiko said I know exactly what character you're talking about they sucked like I said I think Annihilation gets away with the characters acting weird dumb out of character because the anomaly is literally messing with their heads um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't, and I, I don't, um, I'm totally down with it being an all women, uh, team that goes in or whatever. I, I have no qualms with that. I just think it's funny that the reasoning for sending an all women team in, I just, that, that's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, those were not teddy bears. Uh, that was a, a misrepresentation. No, but yeah, that's the thing. I think what Kiko said kind of reminded me. It was one character specifically who was, who, who did just made some really dumb decisions. And you could say, yeah, the, the, the stuff was probably messing with her head, but it was just like, in the moment, I was just like, seriously, we're doing this now. But I thought Annihilation was a really interesting movie and it was like cool to have something like that. The stuff near the end, like without getting into spoiler territory, was um, really, really trippy and interesting. Everything to do with the, I'll, I'll call it the entity that they interact or experience with towards the end is like so trippy and, and like it's done really well and then once again the the soundtrack in the theater was so good I, I i remember coming home and looking up the uh the music that plays when she's interacting with the entity um just because like it stuck with me so heavily in the theater Oh, hey, Gerald, what's up? Um, truly gotta have some wacky pros to land on those visuals. Yeah, the book might be interesting. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? Just asking because I'm trying to decide to do what to do myself. Um, I mean, lately I've been mostly, I, I've, I recently this past year, went back to college to finish getting my bachelor's degree so i haven't had as much time to work but what i've mostly done is like online freelance writing jobs so like the dumb articles you might read on website like certain websites basically like i i, I was one of the the dummies writing that kind of stuff um and if something like it's like the worst stuff ever, I would not write things that I don't want to write about generally. But it's not, it's not a notable showcase of creativity that's like, oh, check this out. It's, it's pretty like, it, yeah. Okay, so I think I came out of here. Um, and I, I'll still do that sometimes if I need some extra money. I'll try to, uh... You know, I have some stuff I can do, but I'm not working, I'm, I'm not putting as much time into that as I was previously, right? You know. But, uh, yeah, and I mean, I've done, like, little manual labor jobs as well, but those are not for me, I've decided. <laughs> those things are, kudos to people who have to, like, who do jobs like that, because it's, it's, Oh. Like I did like warehouse work, which was horrible. I did uh, some uh, landscaping. Oh, we save at the ice cream place. Heck yeah. Ice cream's good. Yeah, I am... Uh, 
full-time college student at the moment. Technically, slightly more than full-time because my my class schedule is overloaded this semester. I just hear that a little a little puppy in the background going yip yip yap yap. Little chihuahua, perhaps. Oh yes, the Ferris wheel. My daughter loves the Ferris wheel. Sybil, what are you doing sitting down, sit, laying around on the job? Come on. sound effects like uh oh why she got the red eye why she got the cowboy bebop pilot episode going on only people are oh ah harry okay well we don't want i think i need to like knock her out if i remember correctly I mean, we don't want to kill her but we want to knock her out so i think i think um What's the best weapon to that would probably kill her let's use the I mean any of these these could kill her But let's try to be careful here Wait, did you see that she was just chilling up there oh, She just backhanded me I hit her with a freaking lead pipe and she just no sells it I guess she backhands me, and I freaking just... Wait, what? Holy crap! I just, I just did a full heal. Or a moderate heal, I guess. Why did I, like, lay down, though? Like, that's... He didn't fall down from the gunshot. He, like... He laid himself down. That was so weird. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be hitting her, by the way. We might accidentally fail here. God, she's messing me up pretty bad, though. I like how she, like, holsters her gun back up. Yeah, she just keeps shooting me. Maybe I'm not supposed to try fighting her. Maybe I'm just wasting all my health items with this, this encounter. I don't want to shoot her, is the thing. I don't want to kill her. Um... Maybe we just need to like, get out of here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch up with that exit. Go this way. It'll be coming around any moment now. That exit will be coming around the mountain when it comes. Oh, it stopped for a second. Hang on. No, I can't leave. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I'm, I'm wasting health, though. That's all I gotta say. Uh, oh yeah, I tried using the vial, but it's not letting me... Oh, should I just go to it? Because I was actually trying to just, like, interact with her, and I was expecting something to pop up. Okay, yeah, I guess you just have to do it manually. Oh my god, he just, like, smacked her in the face with it. Holy crap. You know what? We probably almost got the bad ending because I just, I was going to kill her. Good call, Feck. I was, I was like, I don't know why I was thinking if I went up and... Okay, and I just kept Sybil. interacting with her that it would let me Wake use up. it. I don't know why Snap I didn't think to it. do it manually. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh, don't talk. I'll take care of We you. almost ruined They said I was locked into the good ending that I would knew what Harry. I would know what to do. Why did they <laughs> take your daughter? They expected too much out of me. Why her? I'm not sure myself. 
but you know Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. Oh, the backstory. I actually haven't told her yet. Well, I mean, that's kind of odd to bring up right now. Anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her okay. no matter what. I don't know, like, the, the, his, his, um, the way he had that line reading. Charles, my daughter, I will save her, no matter what. But that's, you gotta have that for classic survival horror. If you don't have voice actors who don't... I figured you'd show. Wait, who? Hold it right there. Who are we figuring would show? I don't who? know who you are, what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Okay, then... Leave, don't talk Just to her. Just one thing. <laughs> I don't care. Now, Cheryl go. now tell me ask. everything. Now, who is this? What? Oh! She just used the force on us. Damn. Yes, it is a call fact. It's still a call. What is this? It's the, the Millennium Pyramid, you don't remember? It always does that. Ah! Okay. Well. Where's Cheryl? <laughs> Tell me or I'll oh set... <laughs> I'll, I'll sick my Millennium Puzzle on you again. We meet at last, Alessa. <gasps> Dahlia Gillespie? It's the Where young version. She? Where is she? It's the young version of Dahlia Gillespie. This is the end of your little game. Yeah, hmm? Kaufman, I think we got him to do his hmm? thing as well. Could she be... You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Half indebted? How can he be hey, half indebted? What are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. We're just a bad girl while holding your hand out, like in a handshake position. What's going on here? Is she the one that she like? I think I'm starting to remember now. She like sacrifices her daughter to summon that angel that I fought in my original ending that I did uh, the first time I played. But we might be getting the demon boss this time. I don't know. Whoa, we just woke up at the hospital again. Kind of weird, isn't it? Harry. Lisa. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. Go on. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? 
So I went to look in the basement. Uh huh. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. No, in his words, he said, This is like nothing special. Before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Mary, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! You'll never Where do you understand. Think you're going? Ever. an earthquake. Bro, we keep teleporting between places like this. I don't have a map for the hospital. Um, do you have any, any idea how far we are into the uh, game, by the way? Because, um, I didn't plan on doing a super long stream tonight, but I'm actually wondering if we're actually getting close to the end. me to remember what else anything else that might happen in this game aside from end game stuff nowhere ah yes look at what the time almost was so close that would have been a good nowhere time he's a real nowhere man the genie Land. That was a really cool uh, over the shoulder or behind the head camera shot right there while we were and being running. summoned. What Making happened in this town? What could be land. making things like this? Nobody. I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. I'm also walking in slow motion. No biggie. Cheryl. I'm in the 15th of 15 sections? Holy oh, well I guess it looks sounds like we're finish finishing it tonight then. Wow, we might have a really short stream tonight. Yeah, for some reason I, I, I get the feeling that we're like really hard for me to imagine much more. Oh look the bird cage. You can hear the bird, it's locked the locked the See, I knew I remembered something about this birdcage. Sometimes you could just hear the, uh, like a bird fluttering its wings. I swear it was some like you had to like just leave and come back or something and then it's unlocked. Also kind of, holy crap. He was waiting for me. Square hole in the center of the clock. The hands of the clock, it's a key. Can't get to it because of the glass cover. Oh, well, you know, Harry, we have some things that could take care of that. Well, I tried my best. I gave it my best shot. Hopefully we didn't waste too much health on the the uh, Sybil debacle. They said I didn't waste a bunch of ammo. I think the only reason we didn't kill her by accident is because I switched to like a weak melee weapon or else we would have killed her and then we would have had to restart to get the good ending. How are we doing on ammo? I think I mentioned this before, when I first got to the, f the final boss on my first playthrough of this, um, I was almost convinced that I didn't have enough ammo to kill the final boss because I was running out like during the boss but I would run out of ammo 
and the boss wouldn't be dead yet. The leg is carved in the Um... And it turns out, I just had to be, like, extremely accurate with every single shot, I think. And it was just barely enough to beat her. This. What the heck? There's a key in every... This is kind of great. I think what they're doing to us here is that there's all these keys that we are just out of reach. And we're probably not even going to be able to get them all. It's probably like you have to figure out which one you're going to get. Just making a guess though. Oh, oh feel. And again, there's like a few doors that are all locked, so maybe we will be needing all those keys. That's a big old board. Big old green board. One desk. Go home. Where do you see that? I see all kinds of letters. Oh, thief. Um, I'm still seeing like D A three three. Oh. Yeah, I'm seeing. Oh, drop dead. Okay, they weren't finished. There were a lot of things to be read. Screwdriver. Pliers. Man, it's I, I feel kind of bad because um like Sleepy and Futility were both really into this playthrough and it looks like we're gonna end up finishing the game when they're not here. I mean at least they they'll be able to watch the uh the, um, what do you call it? The VOD. I don't think pliers would work. Oh, the pliers would work on the one that's stuck in the, um, in the pipe, probably. I'm just gonna, since I'm here already, I'm going to, uh... Probably use a screwdriver on the cage. They remember to set their DVR. I remember I had a friend who had like a DVR as live TV rewind it. I remember what we would do sometimes is we would like as we were watching a show we would pause it and like make jokes and rewind and stuff a little like here and there. And then when we'd get to a commercial, we would have enough like built up time that we could fast forward through the commercial. It was pretty epic. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I could pull the one out of the pipe at least. Pretty surprised if I can't. So the pipe. Wait, what? Use on metal and wires. Oh. Should I have used the pliers on the cage? Did I try to use the pliers on the cage? I'll try it just in case. I can't remember if I did or not. Okay, I guess not. Alright, fair enough. I also don't have a map for this place, unfortunately. Elevator doesn't appear to be working. Knows not where he's going to. Isn't he a bit like... Oh, 
usually sing. Just a wall. You don't know. No. That's actually suspicious. Just a wall. Hold up. Why why over here says just a wall? Oh never mind. Here it doesn't say it. But once you start coming over here, I'm actually suspicious that this isn't just a wall. I don't believe the game. Why why would that specifically say just a wall? It never does that. I don't know what I would do to, to do anything about it if the Just a wall. That's sus, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna try these while I'm here. Oh yeah, maybe something changes. I was thinking it might have been like a secret or something, because I think every Silent Hill game is supposed to have like a secret ending. This just leads down to the table where I got the tools, right? Oh no, there's this room. Okay, let me look at this again. Silent Hill 2 has six or seven endings. But there's one like... Like, they have like a joke ending for each game, I think. I, I remember hearing. If I recall correctly, there's a joke ending. Uh-oh, we need the Silent Hill experts. I'm a little lost right now. Dog one, yeah. Isn't it like... A dog was controlling everything behind the scenes or something, like that's... That's like an Indian... In this one there's like a whole different... Something, I can't remember. Agath. Well, maybe I just need to kill these. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna... It'll make it a little... What the heck's not letting me aim? Did I unequip my gun like a dummy? I also unequip my gun. <laughs> oh, really. At least I'll be able to look around a little more carefully. It doesn't have anything written on the door. The reason not working. This leads to an area. This leads to an area. I'm gonna go into these again. One, one of these is the bird cage, and one of these is the clock. I think. Oh, I was completely wrong. You don't know what you're missing. Land. Yeah, I have the screwdriver and the pliers, and I've tried- Wait, what? I swear to god I tried using the pliers here. I swear to god. I was literally like, oh, you use the pliers to pull them out of the pipe, that's obvious. I swear if we go back and look, I did that. I literally said it like three times. Like, that's like, that's like the most obvious one. What the hell? The thing is, like, if we try to say, like, oh, I, maybe I wasn't in the right spot, I made sure to go up and analyze it first so that I would be in the right spot. What the hell? That's it. 
That's it, it's the final straw, guys. Silent Hill, one out of ten. Also, I like that I do it the exact moment that Fak was telling me. That's his oh, 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 feel. Oh, feel. Where's my key at that I just got? Wait, did I just unlock it? Okay. Yeah, progress. That's the important part. See, here's the thing I took the picture of, because I must have remembered subconsciously that we were going to need this information later. Because earlier I was like, wait, this never came into play, what happened? So let me just bring this up on my phone so that uh, I'll have quick access to it. Whoa. Okay. I, think, I don't think we'll be going through that door yet. Did I just... Yeah, I just... I just came out the door that we just... Okay. Alright, the problem is we don't have a map right now, so... That door. At least most of these doors are locked. Nowhere, man, that's a buffalo. Oh, I vaguely remember this puzzle. That is a centaur. Oh, yeah, 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 it's the sign, so that's Gemini. The centaur's probably actually Capricorn, right? Crab is Cancer, I think. Um, there's the numbers. So um, okay. Okay, so we have to look at like all the different, wait. Well, they all have numbers underneath them, do they? These ones don't. The cancer's 10. I can't remember what that is. Are these like months of, of the year, maybe? Zero, what is that, Pisces? A Libra, maybe? I don't, I, don't, I don't have them all memorized off the top of my head, but these are clearly the uh, signs. Oh, it's not even letting me like, oh, there we go. Capricorn would be January, I would think. Is this like Taurus? Does anyone remember what month Taurus is? I saw my fingers on my fingers on my Taurus. Gemini. June, I think. Oh, one. Taurus. What month Taurus is. Zodiac signs don't correspond to months. Uh, they kind of do. Like, I know they tend to bleed into each other, but... I'm not sure what, what a... Okay, I see what it is. I remember now. Okay. I get it now. No, I, I know what it is. I was thinking too much about the... Uh... I know what it is. I If I, if I wasn't thinking about that, I would have just... Uh... I probably would have just figured it out. Yeah. Wait, so that should be it. Let's see, did I get something wrong here? Yeah, I did get something wrong. There we go. 
Centaur has six limbs. There you go. Are you proud of me? The Stone of Time. What is this? Legend of Zelda? Yeah, it's funny. This is like... Oh, jeez. Where the hell you come from? Um... This is like the second or third time it's happened in this game where I'm like overthinking a puzzle to be more complicated than it actually is. That color one was the best example. I'm trying to save ammo because I know for that final boss what happened last time. Names engraved on a lithograph, the Grim Reaper's list. Yes, the head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them the frenzied upward. Oh, okay. So we know, we know the password to that. The the other doorway at the end. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna check some other doors on the way in case. Um. Except. Okay, I think I just put the names in, like the first and. I think I put the first initial of each part of their names. That makes sense. The youngest would be Albert Lords, so that's A L. Um, and then we have Lydia Findley. Then we have Roberta T. Morgan. Then we have, uh, whoops, I messed up. Well, restart. Let's try this again. Albert Lords. Lydia finally. Uh, and then Edward C. Briggs, actually. Skipped over him by accident. And Roberta T. Morgan. And finally, Trevor F. White. Uh-oh, it didn't work. Oh, it's only the first initial. Okay, well, the reason why, uh, the, the fact some of them had middle initials pop up made me feel like you wanted to do each game. All right, I guess it's just the first then. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I figure they're not gonna have a spell the whole name at least. But at least we had the right idea. Okay, there we go. I mean, that would have been my second uh, guess. I, I don't think I would have went right to spelling the whole names, of course. But thanks for confirming that. Nothing helpful, just a bloody box ball. The door vanished for a second. Don't feel like checking this out. Hey, it's, uh... It's, it's a, uh... A Judas star? A David star. It's a, a David star, there you go. The Judas star. Um, yeah, very spooky, Abraham, exactly. Oh, sorry, it's an amulet of Solomon. I call them a David star. That's him. Harry? Yes? Lisa, what's the matter with you? Has it I done get anything it now. Though? Why I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. 
I'm Luck. not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. You're a g g g ghost Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. I don't trust you. <laughs> did he push her? Or did she just back up? There's some weird noises. Wait, what? There was a... What? Uh... Oh no. <laughs> the way he just like slowly put the door behind him like, nope. I'm not dealing with that. That was pretty unchill. Let's go back in there and say hi. It's a diary on the floor. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive with the wounds that won't heal. With wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room's filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in despite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. Need to throw up. But nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Itchy tasty. Oh. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Do this music. Need drug. Help me. Dang. But she'll be fine, right? We just wanna. Oh wait, we already did. I think we want to go back to that first area. I could just find the. Oh, here we go. Oh, the other one. There we go. Ah, oh, they came back, huh? Haggis. That just sounds like you're saying haggis with a lisp. clock you don't like me and I don't like you so we're gonna that has something to do with the bird cage maybe eventually Might have been a door in that a second area that I I missed. Cause these are all the rooms here that I haven't done yet. Oh my god! Holy crap! They're punishing me for not remembering that I've. Been... Okay, I knew what this was. I was just coming in here just in case. That's kind of messed up that they would punish you for that. Uh, I don't like when games punish you for being lost, because I already feel bad for being lost. I... I do not agree with this. Goddamn. Fall down, dummy. Jeez, how much health do you have? Usually they go down to like four shots. Damn, she was thinking them. Is it because she's green and the other ones are blue? Well, we came in here and wasted uh, health and ammo, didn't we? 
Jeez, I just came in here j like just in case, because I knew what was in here. Use this on every door just in case. Didn't we also get a, um... Oh! I forgot about the tile we got. And it's the time thing. Okay, so that's what would go here. I didn't, I didn't really notice that big square opening until right now. Gonna cuckoo clock. There's a little glass up. Oh my, okay. The glass didn't open. It just exploded right in our face. Let me save while we're here. Okay, we're still doing okay on health. Hey, like Doria, we don't want to go there. That one's just straight up locked. That's the one we've already been in, though, so why don't we... Haggith door is somewhere around here. Is Haggith? Yes. Another elevator. He's the real elevator. I don't think I have a choice. Fall down! Fall down! Make me waste all my ammo! Oh. Oh, these things. Guess I could have ran around her. I wasn't sure about where the uh, paths led. Okay, this looks. This looks promising. Press of Mercury. Someone's shooting steam out of their ears. Hear that noise? Ring of Contract. Cartoon character is just really angry right now. Oh, use this. 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 Might need to put one of these in the cage. Oh, Jesus. Can't just sneak up on me like that, that's illegal. Okay, so we are back into the second area, so if I go through oh, never mind. Okay, I unlock some kind of door. Here's the first area again, I think. Okay. So birdcage door would be one of these. There it is. Oh, huh. Hmm. Okay, okay. We still have that third floor we haven't been to in the elevator, so... Hopefully I already explored all of the second floor. I'm not sure if I did, but... There might even be a fourth floor for all we know. I'm probably gonna have to take a Walter time break, um, a bit. But we'll finish the game tonight since we're so close to, uh, beating it. Uh 
Oh, it's this room again. Like use this with the puzzle or something. Um, I think of all the genres, punishing you for getting lost makes the most sense in survival horror. So long as it's the vein of punishing you for not being prepared, learning your surroundings, and not just haha, we made the place a mess to navigate. Well, no, that's that's here. In fact, the problem is, first off, there's no map, so it's not like I could have even checked anyways. But the thing is, like, I wasn't sure where I was supposed to be going at first. And I actually did remember that that was the room that I pulled the key out of the pipe. But I was just like, just to be extra careful, I'm gonna go into that room just to check it out again. And there was three nurses in there and they ganged up on me, like, immediately. There just didn't seem to be a good reason for that. Because then it made me think, oh, maybe there is something in here. I'm gonna stick around and, like, kill them all instead of assuming that... You know, oh, they just put them in here. Just to put them in here. The light to the future. The light illuminating the darkness. Hmm. Light to the future, light illuminating the I don't know that I have the right tools for this. Either. Fourth floor? Oh, okay. So this is the third floor. That's silly. You have to come back and. Okay, you have to open the elevator door. Very realistic. Maybe I need a lighter. We we actually had a lighter earlier. Um, we, no, I think we got rid of the lighter. Uh, part of me feels like I remember like putting the the David Star like on here or something. I feel like I remember. Maybe I'm not ready for this room yet. Unless there's something I'm really missing. We do not have a camera now. So yeah, I am missing something then. There's probably a door in the second floor we haven't checked out yet. I, I accidentally found the shortcut out of the second floor. To a previous area first, I think. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this as well, um, Abraham. I only played this one time at a friend's house, like over 10 years ago. Um, I think this is the... Yeah, because this unlocked a shortcut back. Okay, jump back. It's your boy, it's your boy with the jump back. Can't stop, won't stop, Harry Mason. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, they got me. Got me. I'm gonna try to sneak out. Oh. Dead end. Can't be doing me with the dead ends. Let me get that door. There we go. That was like the door, too. That was the door. Oh, you got stuck at the piano puzzle. That's a really tricky puzzle. I don't blame you at all for that. Um, yeah, I remember when I first did that puzzle, it was really tricky, but it was really satisfying to figure it out. Let's 
Still place. Oh, this is where you put it. I think. No? I remember. I have like a visual of this going. Oh, oh okay. We just unscrew this first. Now. There's a key. Electricity's flowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it. Put this ring on. That will stop the electricity from hurting me. That's how science works. Right, let me think about this. Do I have anything? I might just have to come back when the power's out or something, or maybe there's another door yet that I've missed. I think anything here would help me grab it without getting shocked. Yeah, man, there's a three nurses out here. Is not gonna make this. But where's the room I missed? There must be a room to. Oh god. Oh great. Well now, I don't have a choice here. I'm gonna have to just use more ammo here. Oh great. Turn around. Oh yeah, the green one does have more health. I wasn't tripping last time. She's like slightly a different shade, but she has more health than the ones in the blue. I know green and blue are different colors, but like those are one of those colors that can you can mix up easily. I feel like when the everything's dark. All right, I think the. Oh gosh, I can't remember where I was. Actually, this is the dead end. There's a door on this side. Here, there we go. This has got to be it. I figured there was a door on the other side. I think that's the camera. I feel like I'm gonna have to uh, make the Walter break like right as we get to the final boss, probably. I have the camera. Now the camera was probably what we used with those pictures in that the third floor room, and that'll help us. Uh, we take a picture of something, and it'll help us figure out the uh, solution to that puzzle. I'm just gonna go back to the elevator. Should I? No, I'll go this way. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Either way. Yeah, this works. Whoa, this is the elevator that doesn't work. Ding. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Ding ding. Ding ding. Ding 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 Bottom left arrow. Uh, if I can remember that. I have a pretty, pretty bad visual memory, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Yeah. The boy. Uh -huh. 
the like simple shapes at least. Okay, so we have a we have a plus. Let's start from the top. We have a a doorway, a plus, and then a bottom left triangular quadrant. Yeah, it's your boy. Oh, they actually stay up there. I didn't even realize that. Um, what, what did that turn the power off? Maybe they didn't actually tell us what that did, did they? Oh, they're doors. I didn't even realize. Okay. Birdcage key. Okay. Like broken. Or no, it's not broken. It just has a weird bend at the end of it. It's just how it's designed. It's so you can examine items in this to like look at it close up and like twirl it around. It's always fun to do. There's a place mark in the book. White Claudia. Perennial herb found near water reaches height of 10 to 15 inches. Oblong leaves white blossoms. Seeds contain hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was key. Hallucinogenic effect? And what's this? I'm gonna pick up the bloody paper on the ground, Harry. You're not, in, you're not curious? I guess he's not very curious. Really? I mean, it's right there, Harry. Sure. Okay. Nothing special, says Harry. He he didn't even give that a nothing special. That was so unspecial, it didn't even get the nothing special treatment. That's harsh, Harry. Shortcut door, I think. You go to the. Oh no, wait, that's just going back to the first. Okay, let's go in the right way. So from here, I need to find the birdcage uh, door. It's not that way. Not that way. Not that one. Might be this one. Oh, let's save while we're here. One of these is the bridge. There we go. I know why the bird came, sings, and flaps its wing, and got the key, the failing key, for me. The failing. But where is the failing door? Here is the fade. Cutscene? There was a slow fade. That's usually a sign of a cutscene. Oh, it was just loading in a new area as well. Nothing special. The chain is missing a link. Oh, the ring! Oh, the dagger of Melancar. I remember this. that I remember that of all things. Uh... Jeez, what if I hadn't put the ring in there? Kinda unchill. Yeah, I guess you would have had to fight something. I might have just would have taken damage or something. That's an interesting item. Where it was like for that special 
moment. Rather than for just like unlocking a door or whatever. Wait, what? Hello? Did I just get attacked by an invisible something? Hey, double O, what's up? I played Resident Evil 8 in third person with the new game plus profile. It felt so good. Really? That ammo. I know ammo when I see it. I would have been a goner, huh? You're probably right. You're probably right. Jelly beans. Do you want to open the bag, or why not? Or no, no, what? What could lead? Wait, is he gonna eat them? Oh no, he's just opening them. Sweet. There was a key in a. Is there like a a a lore explanation as to why that key was inside a bag of jelly beans, or was it just for the hell of it? Ooh, we can use the same tape. Maybe this time we'll see the visuals instead of just hearing the audio. I bet you that's the difference. That's why we hung onto this tape the whole time. Yep. What is it? Still has an unusually high fever. We'll get to hear the rest I of it. I don't too. open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? Can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So please. That's pretty unchill. Do we do we have the tape still, or is it gone finally? Oh, we still have it. Yeah, it's one of those bags that were just not designed to open well. Whoa, there's no... The music stopped. Lack of uh, sound is like such an important element that a lot of people um, overlook often. Also, in music, sometimes it's the absence of something that can um, have more of an impact like, when in the right places. Like, have you ever heard the term deafening silence? Like, that is a real thing. Like an onk. Whoa, these eyeballs and, like, the black ink all over the wall, it makes me think of, uh, Little Nightmares. Oh, I can hear Walter Time approaching. At least we weren't in the middle of a boss fight. What is happening? The second time an in invisible entity has harassed me. And I will not have it. Oh, the room with the, the generator, right? Yep, this is where we gotta turn it off. So we can go grab that other key. As if the lights weren't already off. Alright, I'm gonna... Pause, because of Walter... ...area, like, pretty much right when we get back, and then I think we're gonna fight the final boss, so... Stay tuned for that, everybody. And we'll be back quickly.
Listen to my song. All right, I may have made a terrible mistake. We'll see what happens. I set my review to premiere in 30 minutes. Okay, so we better get moving. So I need to get that key that was behind the electricity. Um, question is, where was that again? What the heck is... Man, there's some invisible stuff going on in this place. Don't appreciate. You know what gets me like a little turned around more so in this game than um... Like RE1 for instance? Is this not the room with the thing on the wall? Nope. It's a YouTube premiere. I don't know why I just set it to, to that for some reason. Doesn't anyone remember where that, the electrocution key is? Oh, this is a new room. Girl's clothing hangs on the wall. Six, maybe seven. Must be a kid about that age. Sounds familiar. Specimens of moths and butterflies hanging on the walls. Darn, it's locked, huh? Oh, I have that. Thou possess them to guard thy spirit, evoke five rites, and vile, and, and vile, and veil thy fate. Okay, there's one. Two. I think I'm missing one. Three. Whoops. Or yeah, but I need to I need to get that key that's behind the electrocution -y wall. Um, unless that fourth one is something that is it the camera? Imagine if it was the camera. Okay, so that's probably the key that the electrocution -y key. Does anyone remember what floor that was on? I swear to god, whatever the heck's- Oh, I think I saw it. It's so hard to see. This game is just- makes spooky sounds, Christmas Elf. That's all real- that's really all there is to it. I feel like it was like on the second floor or something. Stop it! Okay, this is the locked door. Oh, wait, that's a door? Okay. I 
feel like the ele electrocution -y key would be behind one of these kinds of doors. Okay, so that's how we get back to the that final area. Let's remember that. What was through this way? No, this is where we saw Lisa for the last time, I think. Yeah. I made a mistake. Of course I'm gonna start getting mixed around now. Oh gosh, I set myself a 30 minute time limit. What a dingus. I mean, it's not like... It matters that much, I guess, but... I'm gonna go through every door before I find the, uh, where that one is supposed to be. I feel like it's on the second floor. You know? I just get the feeling. Oh, of course this is the elevator that doesn't work. Or maybe just the elevator doesn't work now in general because the power is out. That, that would also make sense. Man, this like this is just like a pain to navigate. Could this be the room? I thought, oh, all I gotta do is go back to where that electrocution -y key was. No idea where that is. And how would someone even give me directions? Look at those. How are you supposed to see that? Can I... Oh, you can't shoot it. Okay, well... Electrocution? Yes! We found it. So now I just need to get back to that first area. Oh my god. Freaking little frog shadow. All over the place now. First area. No, elevator. Come on, man. It's like I can't see them, so I can't avoid them. Okay, this is the first area, though. So from here to one of these doors. Yep, that's the one. And then we just go to the end of this hallway. And then here is the door. So we'll get the final object in here, and then we could just turn right around and then go through that. Oh! Everything is going okay. according to oh. plan. Sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the seed lies dormant. Hmm. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. I'm here too, by the way. Are you trying to say it won't work? 
That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. You guys are all ghosts. You're not even real. Not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost Why is Harry bobbing nothing. his head up and down as he's... Unless we get the other half of the soul. He has his airpods in. He can't hear what they're saying. We use a magical spell. A magical this spell. Child's pain, it's sure to come. It's just funny that she described it like that. that we'll use a magical time. spell. Like she's talking to little children. Oh, there they go. Oh, this must have been where the girl was that was being kept alive of pain and suffering for some... For Alessa. And that was the lady's... Uh, Gil's Pie's daughter, right? Discover a Burrows. Wow, years before RE5. The only time, the only two times Earl Burrows has ever been said. Right, they're non magical spells, exactly. Right, I think this is it. I think once we get to that other room, this is the, the final boss fight. I mean, this sure feels like a final boss door, don't it? It needs all these special items. Would have been even sicker if you were slowly collecting these items in the throughout the game, but still not a bad build up. All these different religious symbols. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your Yeah, power. that's a normal thing that's to say to a, a child. No. Oh, it's my power. It. it will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. Is it really? Oh, Is it but mother? mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Her arms go like all the way down to her knees. Oh, the heck? yes, I see. Maybe mommy has been wrong. Mommy. 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 Uh -oh, Why not didn't this I again? this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? I just realized you're useless to me. They brought back Mummy for Bayo 3. Oh, good lord. It's locked. Locked. Or jammed, rather. It's full of raspberry jam. Alright, are we getting Angel Boss or Demon Boss? I'm curious. Either one would be interesting because I've done Angel before, but I mean, I don't know, it would be. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Demon I never saw. Was being used. Look, Sybil's here. I don't think it she would have been here if we didn't save her. At last. Just a little longer, and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to. I tricked him, you see. Even though Alessa has been stopped, his little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice laughing Freeze. at us like that. Jesus! The devil's name? Freeze! <laughs> oh, she used her force powers. Dahlia. Harry just casually walks well, up. Oh, hello. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restored. I think we are gonna fight the angel version. I'm guessing the angel is the real the form, for jokes. which you need the that guy needs to get that red juice to to do. She's I'm right guessing. There. And if he doesn't get that, then you get the demon form, which is like the unrefined version. That's just my, you like, are the guess. Only one 
just throwing it out there. So. Since I did get the plus my first run, I think. Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day. That terrible day, my useless daughter Vanessa didn't lend me her alive. power. Suffering a fate worse than death. Mega death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. Not very nice. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. Uh -oh. When all our sorrows will be washed away. I was like, okay. I don't really when we care. return to the true paradise. My daughter. Will be the mother of God. I remember this. I remember that this is very sticking into my brain. Yup, it's the angel mode. I was right, so the demon mode must be the I mean at least I got to fight the true boss on my first playthrough. Whoa! That happened. Now, quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman. Mega Dust. Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. <laughs> I have a briefcase. Your role is off. We don't need you anymore. What do you think you could? By coming here. My, I'm just looking for my daughter. If I had like a Twitch stream where like people could redeem bits, like things with the not bits, but the um, not the Agonville flubber. Whatever that free Twitch currency is called. I, I would make a smash announcer voice would be a thing you could redeem. Stop it! No, don't use the Pepto! Not the Pepto Bismol. It's her one week. Weakness. Or maybe this will turn her into a demon. Maybe I had it all backwards before. Maybe I saved Sybil and I didn't do this part. Huh? <laughs> huh? Poor Harry. He just never knows what's going on. Right, you can make it anything. That's cool. Yo, those are some unchill noises happening right now. Oh no, she is birthing the angel. No, that is a demon. Okay, no. This was not what I fought before. So I guess I didn't... Yeah, no, I just remembered it being the angel. So this is new to me completely. The music, it's like a weird discordant noise, but it's like in rhythm to the music. Very strange. Where is it? Oh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm already hurting. Okay, luckily I have rifle. Jesus, I can't.
Okay, when you start shooting lighting, I think you want to run. Ow. Still got hit. Oh, I died! Damn, I was just about to heal, too. Wow, my first death in the whole game. We almost beat the whole game without dying once. That sucks. I, I tried to heal, too, but the uh, they comboed me. Damn, and I only have seven minutes for my premiere, which I shouldn't have set it to that, honestly. That was foolish. I wish. Guess we could skip all this. I'm a little disappointed in myself. We almost beat the whole game without dying once. I didn't realize how much damage that was doing to me. Lightning's coming. I don't know what the trick is to dodging it. Yeah, it seems like it's just gonna hit you. No matter what. So. I think I only had like handgun ammo the first time I fought this boss. Hey, that time I. Okay. Here comes the lightning. Yeah, this is like pretty simple. I just keep spinning and oh, they get me once. No, I did fight the angel last time. That's what I'm confused about because I know for sure I got the bad plus ending. I remember that's what it was called specifically. That's what I'm kind of confused about. So if this is the good plus ending, I'm really... Uh, maybe you only fight the demon on good and you fight the angel on bad. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there we go. Simple as that. Yeah, I had way more ammo this time. The first time I did it, I had like nothing. I think the angel had a similar attack pattern, except she was like on standing around or something. Okay, so that, that explains it, because I had the bad plus ending and I fought the angel. Hmm. Angel's incubator, demon is incubus. Isn't an incubus like a male succubus? That makes sense, though, because they kept saying he was being born out of her. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Pedantic at that point. A new baby, all of my own. I shall name her Cheryl. Or maybe he just has like a burrito. It's like a giant burrito. That's his reward for saving the day. Don't go towards the light, so well, I went through all that trouble to save you. But that's weird because it's the stuff he throws on her that turns the angel into the demon. But I remember doing his thing, so. Oh gosh. That's uh unsettling. Boss fight like Hades where there's four stages. Which boss in Hades had four stages? Oh, you mean like each like layer of the underworld?
The rust dimension is falling apart, guys. What are we gonna do? She was holding the fire behind the Let Us Escape. She helped us out in the end. That was nice of her. Oh, we did it. We beat the game. With five minutes to spare. So now I can shill the second part of my... But anyway, Silent Hill, we did it. We beat it. I always wanted to come back to this game eventually because I, I enjoyed it that first time I played it years ago. And yeah, I liked it. Overall, like, um, I don't know if it went more smoothly just because subconsciously there were certain things I remembered. I feel like we figured out more stuff. You guys obviously did some uh, helping as well in, in, at points. The good, cool stuff, we got the good plus ending even. I'm gonna have to do Silent Hill 2 at some point. Um, now do Homecoming. Silent Hill Home, which one is that? Like, like four or something? I can't skip to that, I gotta do two first. Publicity. Play check. Like testing. English staffs. Nobody? Wait. Oh, I thought that it was saying nobody at first. Got me for a second. Now, is there a post credit scene or does it end like that? Latina. Homecoming's the sixth game, okay. Gotcha. Michael G. Susan Papa. I don't know any of these names. These were just random Canadian students living in Japan. Of course. That's the deep lore. I don't think I've really seen any of the Silent Hill movies, to be honest. We did it. We silented the hill once and for all. Good plus. Good plus. Wait, why are we in a graveyard suddenly? Did they... Are they just like pulling off a Sir Arthur? Wait, what? What is going on right here? Why are we getting like a Tarantino credit sequence suddenly? This is bizarre. I don't remember this. This must be like a good ending credits. one time. This is silly. But yeah, um... Oh god, yeah, see this is like a sick joke. Is this our reward for getting the good plus ending? It's like the outtakes in a movie, basically what they're doing here. I think that they did this before Toy Story 2 did it, because I remember Toy Story 2 had like the, the infamous like outtake 
outtakes at the end. It's like, you know, it's funny because how can CGI characters have outtakes? Right, we did it. We got a th eight star rank. Is that what that is? Three, four, five plus three star. I don't know what that means. Good plus ending. I died one time at the very end because I wasn't being careful enough, but it is what it is. One more time, I'm just going to shill my, my Halloween review that second part's dropping right now in one minute just because I put so much freaking work into it. So, um, if you guys want to check that out, I'd appreciate it. Premiering live so we can all watch it together if you want. Um, I'm going to bid you all adieu. Thanks everyone for I mean, new fear. This game I'm gonna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And feliz Dia de los Muertos. Buenos noches.